Hey, Tony from Bikeberry here. Welcome to Porting Masterclass Video 2, where we're going to clean up the inside of the ports here so that our rings don't get snagged. So that's the first thing we're going to work on. Then the second thing we're going to work on is we're going to clean these up so they fit the new opening size in our ports. Let's roll. Main tools that we're going to use are going to be these three small files. You can see that we have flat and a half round, totally flat, and then just round. So those really are the only tools that I'm gonna use for this entire video. Slow and steady. Using the half round. this one what I'm doing is I'm changing the angle so before I was going basically up as far as I could and now I'm going at this angle so that I can have a truly rounded over port without it being obsessively round I'll use the half round. Nice and rounded over. All right, so we did the bottom. Now let's do the top. A little bit harder to get down in there because it's lower, but we'll do our best. And because of the angle of the intake side, you can approach the rounding over of this side from here pretty easily. Like I can feel it really cutting. It's nice. Focus on the sides a little bit. Now remember, we're just trying to get the rings to not have anything to catch on to. Not going for a big sloping curve. That isn't necessary.
flip it around, try to reach in from these angles. See the silver line right there? That's the curvature being knocked down. Now it reflects a little different no matter you know on the angle, but overall you're trying to get that softened edge all the way around because that way when uh, your rings are sliding up and down, there's no way that they're gonna catch, especially especially on the inside of you know this this lip here. But sometimes corners can hang up. You don't want that. Then it just busts the ring right out. So soften those up and you'll be good to go. One thing I do want to discuss is softening the edges too much. I've seen them really flared out. And uh, I would say that's probably overkill. Now, somebody might have an argument for it. And they may be right and know something that I don't know. But if the case in point is just to keep the rings from snagging, then it doesn't have to be a lot. You're just softening enough so that when you run your finger over it, you don't feel anything that could catch in the corners or on that lip in either direction. Let's work on the exhaust side. So we're gonna start on the inside. some reason through this angle you can feel the files grab a bit more maybe because it's that softer exterior of the case or on the inside you're really cutting through that harder interior you want to be careful and not rubbing the file against these walls and deteriorating them okay You can see the real silvery line right there. That's where I've been filing at. So now I'm gonna try and tack it from this side because I can feel a little bit of a sharp edge. The sides feel good, but this lip right here seems a little sharp. 
The only way I'm gonna get it is through this side. All right, I feel pretty good about that. You can see uh, nice and rounded over. See this close up here. Uh, I don't feel any edges with my fingers. I feel like everything flows smoothly. So I'm gonna stop there and call it good. Next, let's check our gaskets and see how much we need to trim those. Put a couple screws in just to hold it in place. So when you're laminating countertops, you would put laminate right onto the countertop wood substrate, okay? The same can apply here, is by putting the gasket on, and then what you would do is you would take a file, and on that countertop edge, like when you're joining edges and all that, you just file away the excess. You're not actually cutting away the excess. So that's why we put the screws on here so we can pretty much keep uh, a position on, on our cylinder. And you're just gonna go in here and file your gasket until it matches the port. Now you could probably screw these down tighter if you really wanted to because then you can file more aggressively <laughs> it is paper but you see already i filed down to that edge that's what you want to do i like using the half round So utilizing the techniques from the countertop laminate world, you can get a perfectly matched up gasket on your port. All right, let's work on our exhaust port. This one's got studs on it, so we're gonna slide it right over. And it's pretty well matched. It's a little different on the top. The bottom is pretty good, so we don't have that much work to do. Because this is a multi-layered one, kind of too much back and forth will probably tear it up. So you gotta be a little careful. So it's kind of good to push in and turn. It wants to grip because it's got aluminum in it. It's pretty good. Side. Top's pretty good. Ooh, this one's easy.
All right, that's all it took. You can feel around and make sure that everything is smooth and matched up. But that's all there is. You don't have to get any cutting tools or anything. You can just use your same files and get it all nice and matched up. So now you know how to take a brand new engine and clean up the ports and everything to get it running much smoother than it would straight out of the box. This will really help you. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about opening these up even more and getting more performance. So if that interests you, stay tuned. You'll see it in the future. But for now, go back to video one, review it, and then watch this one again and you'll see the whole big picture. Let's roll.